This is Micah's holiday gift guide. You're an avid tennis player and you want some products for the holidays that will make you a better tennis player. These are the products, these are the companies that I'm really proud to work with and also you're gonna get some really cool deals. So stick with me and see what I think you need to become a better tennis player. This is what you look like sometimes on the court. You need a tool that tells you what's happening right now in the moment that interrupts that negative behavior and that lets you rechannel your energy into more positive thinking. Now that tool is mindfulness. So mindfulness is the ability to pay attention to the present moment on purpose without judgment. And I have my Mindfulness for Tennis Players online course ready for you, and I'll explain to you what mindfulness is exactly, how you practice it, and how you then put it out onto the court so that you don't look like that. If you're out and about in the sun and you're active, you need sun protection. And you ideally wanna have some gear that is lightweight, moisture wicking, and actually cooling. And that's why I'm wearing Ape Sportswear gear. Go to ape-.us, use this code, and get 15% off. Or go to my website, micababble.com, to get Micah swag for an even better price. So go check it out. This stuff is really great. I had skin cancer, and I wear long sleeves in the summer. This stuff is fantastic, and they got really cool colors coming up. So check it out. Hey, guys. This is Avor from Tennis House. I'm with Micah Babel here former 27 in the world on the big stage we have the top spin pro with us and i want to get mike on board as well and she loves it as well that's why she's in the video with me so the top spin pro it's very important for kids especially when they learn to hit the top spin to hit up on the ball and to be loose so they see the ball rotating so many too many players and beginner players they slap here there's no rotation on this so with this device if you roll it and you have the racket in the leg position where it should be before you come up on that ball and you hit below the equator of the ball, you're going to create topspin. And topspin, guys, you need that for that ball to fall down and go inside the court, in the court. Look at Micah. She creates a lot of topspin on there. Beautiful. And this device you can have at home, in your garage, wherever you want. It is phenomenal. Hey, do you want to work with me? and you don't live in Denver, Colorado, you can still do that. Go to my website right now and order your stroke analysis. It's super easy. You just tape five, six, seven shots with your phone. So you don't need any special equipment. There are instructions that I'm gonna send you if you order it right now. And I'll look over your stroke. I'll analyze exactly what you're doing well, what you could improve, and how to get better as a tennis player right now. So head on over to my website, get your stroke analysis now. All right, head on over to ADV Tennis and get 10% off if you use my code. If you want a tennis specific warm up and fitness kit, what you're gonna get is a pull rope that you can easily fix to the net or to the fence to do shoulder protection stuff, shoulder strengthening stuff. You get a blue color, which is medium strength, uh, a rubber band that you can use for lateral movement, leg strengthening, all kinds of stuff. You get a jump rope and you get the speed ball. So really cool stuff, very tennis specific. Again, go to ADV Tennis and get 10% off if you use my code. I want to run you through the Swing Vision app and show you how phenomenal this thing is. So if you want to have statistics very, very close to what you see on TV, broken down into how many first serves you're making, into where you're hitting the balls, into where you are in the court when you're hitting the ball, what type of ball you're hitting, you need this app. And I'm gonna walk you through a little bit more about what I did when I went out to just serve because you don't need to necessarily play an entire match. You can do a couple of really cool things. So as I said, you can just go out and serve because it tracks every single ball. It tracks the spin, it uh, tracks the pace and the location and whether you make it or not, which we will see later. And you can also use it for the ball machine. And that is a really cool tool. It shows you where you're hitting the ball, the percentage of type 
of shot that you're making. It's also showing you where you are in the court, so your own court positioning. And then, of course, let's scroll down here a little bit. What's really fascinating is the singles matches. You can record an entire match. It cuts out the dead time. So it reduces every single match to just when you are hitting the ball or your opponent, when you have the ball in play. So you're not looking at an hour and a half of footage. You're looking at a condensed version with all the stats that you want. You can just do that when you are rallying. So if you have a specific focus um, of depth in the court, a specific target, it records that. Again, it um, cuts out the dead time. So you really, really, really have great data. It doesn't lie. You get a lot of information of what you need to work on and what you did well, of course. And you can do the exact same thing with doubles rallies or entire doubles matches. And I'm going to run you through now how I used it when I went out by myself to just hit a few serves. So you can record it directly in the app or what I did is I just put my tripod on the court and recorded it with my iPhone and then later imported it because it just saves me a little bit more time this way. But it still has the entire footage, but it does cut out the dead time. So you won't see when you're picking up balls or doing anything, you're just seeing each individual serve and that is really cool. And now let's dive into what kind of stats I'm seeing. So the first thing that you're seeing here is the number of total serves that I hit. So it was just a quick uh, session there, 14 serves. On the right, you have your heat map. And then if I let this scroll through a little bit, it records every single serve that I'm taking. And this is exactly what I need. I need to see where I'm placing the ball. I need to see where I'm missing the ball which unfortunately I did a lot. Um, you can also see the pace of the serve and then what kind of serve I'm hitting. So my goal was to go to the T. So I'm gonna let this run through. You're seeing all the serves if that's what you wanna see. So I can run a little faster through all of my serves. And you see that as I'm making them or I'm not making them, it records again exactly where I'm missing them and it records where I'm making them. Because you can now also sort and filter by type of spin that I hit. And I focused more on my flat serve rather than a kick. So what I did now is I filtered into flat serves. So I'm seeing all my flat serves, whether I made them or not. I have the same thing in here. I can now change it into slice serves. So you see the number up here change. So I'm going back into my main menu here and you see some more um, stats. I see the total number of serves. I see them broken down in a bar uh, presentation here, flat serves, slice serves. I see the pace of every single shot, every single serve that I took. I got my max and I got my average. The most important for me, to be honest, is the placement and where I miss them. So now I see it represented in a heat map. You see clearly where I made all the balls um, that I got in. So the placement is okay, but obviously I missed way too many balls. To my mind, one of the most underrated tools to get better is the ball machine. You don't need a partner. You can go anytime where you have a court. And the Spin Shot series is phenomenal in that you can pre-program every single ball with different height, width, spin, and speed. So you can replay whole sequences, whole rallies on the court that are realistic. I'm using it quite often with my clients when I'm coming out here to play by myself. And I would suggest that you're heading over to Spin Shot Sports right now and check it out. Don't want to do that all the time? Get some glasses. I've been using Oakley's for the last 25 years and I kind of regret that I didn't actually play with glasses on tour because that's where I kind of damaged my eyes a little bit. And if you've ever seen me teach a lesson, I'm not ever without these. So check out the Oakley's.